Hey, Quad Bros, what's going on, guys? Hope you guys are all doing well. Welcome back to another Quadro Quickie. And also, what will more than likely be the video I most regret making, because I'm going to be showing you guys how to use mortars in Enlisted. And mortars are my arch enemy in this game. So, first off, the basics of mortars. You unlock them at level 13 in Normandy for both factions and level 14 in Moscow for both factions. They can only be used by the mortar class, and they also come with a total of 10 shells for um, the mortar man. The first thing that you want to do when using your mortar is to get some ammo boxes down to refill your ammo as you're firing. And you do this either through a teammate or building it yourself. And once you've done that, you're going to plop your mortar down with the left click. You can change the dist distance by pushing up and down with the mouse or the analog stick if you're on console. Left and right to aim. And then you're going to click again to fire. After a few seconds, your shells are going to land on the enemies or wherever you're aiming. And you can actually open up your map and see where they landed. And there's a little explosion marker on the map. And there's also going to be any skulls if you killed anybody. So when you're firing your mortars, I recommend you guys use objectives to range, your sh range yourself. And either directly hit the enemy objective or hit behind it. So if the enemy objective is 100 meters away, you can see that on the map. And then you're going to just you know push your mouse up a little bit. Put your distance at say 120 130 or something like that and then start dropping some shells you can also use friendly marks to do the same thing the marks will tell you the exact distance from you so you can drop those if you have any friends you're playing with or just some good teammates who are dropping some marks you can always use those marks and those are very very effective as well now i don't recommend using mortars to shoot at tanks it's very very ineffective and will almost never net you a kill so just ignore tanks that's not your job Fire at infantry, that is your job. And once the objective has been captured, guys, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you dismantle all the ammo boxes if you built them yourself, and then rebuild them as you either push up or fall back. This is because you do get half supplies back for your engineers when you dismantle, so you'll be able to just chain mortar ammo boxes the entire match if you just constantly dismantle. Now, mortars do tend to be better in invasion as opposed to conquest, and they're especially good on defense because enemies will group up a lot more and they're in more predictable areas. So if you're on conquest, if you're in conquest, maybe don't use the mortar, maybe just, you know, hold off, wait for a good invasion match like D-Day or God forbid, like Ruins of Vaux, things like that, where you can just shell the enemy as they try to run in and they can't really do anything to you because mortars are fun, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, upgrading your mortars in enlisted the the squads is very very easy guys just rush for any engineer slots that you possibly can to have those ammo boxes as soon as you get the engineer your mortar squad becomes completely self-sufficient and you can get like 100 kills and really just not try at all and it's kind of busted so go for those engineers as quickly as you can i don't even outfit my troops other than like the mortar itself there's no reason to because you're gonna be sitting in the back the entire match so don't bother with anything other than the mortar and the engineer and you'll be fine Extra mortarmen in the squad will not fire. I did test this, so unless there's some special way of making them fire with you that I'm unaware of, then don't bother even getting more mortarmen because as long as you have those engineers, you really just need the one. So that is not a priority for you guys. Just grab those engineers and you'll be good. And that's all there is to it, everyone. Mortars are really, really easy to use in this game once you kind of figure them out. So hopefully this video gave you a good idea of how to use mortars and how to get a bunch of basically free kills in Enlisted. So if it did and you guys did enjoy the video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, yada, yada, yada. It does help me out quite a bit. And also, guys, come follow me over at twitch.tv slash heyquadro. Join our community Discord. The links for both of those are down in the description. And I will see you guys next time.